Excellencies, distinguished experts and participants, and dear colleagues, very good morning. Uh, it is my great pleasure uh, to deliver a message to you on behalf of Dr. Nolin Hager, United Nations Under Secretary General and the Executive Secretary of UN ESCAP, who, due to pressing uh, prior commitment, regret her inability to be present here today. Quote, Excellencies, distinguished experts, I'm very pleased by the successful collaboration that has evolved between the Ministry of Public Administration and Security of the Republic of Korea, the United Nations Project Office on Governance under the United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs, and the United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific to organize this event. This represents a continuum of cooperation that was initiated some time ago. And I hope that it will continue to grow from strength to strength as we strive towards our common endeavor to bring the benefit of ICT revolution to all. Excellencies, a broad-based dialogue on the way public services are facilitated or delivered ele electronically, including through the internet, making use of the best that cutting-edge technologies and infrastructure can offer, is now an integral part of all development efforts. In this context, I warmly welcome chief information officers, other e-government officers, and experts from various sectors, including academics and the private sector, to this forum. The times we live in are certainly exciting, but they are also characterized by new challenges of considerable proportions. We recognize that ICT innovation have an endless capacity to intrigue us. For one, the internet has opened the doors to an unlimited supply of content-rich materials accessible at previously unimaginable speeds, which empowers us to transform the way we go about our routine activities. From the analysis and delivery of education, health, and the financial services, to the way information is leveraged for betterment of knowledge, to how people connected and interact with each other, and access public services through e-government. This, however, is only part of the story. And the less technology-driven optimism induce policy complacency. It is important to recognize that, despite the presence here today of Asia-Pacific countries at the forefront of ICT revolution, the digital and the innovation divide is increasing. Within countries, it's between urban and rural areas. Within the region, the divide is widening between LDCs, LLDCs, and the Pacific Island states, on the other hand, and the middle and high income countries. Natural disasters of an increasing frequency and scale are reversing development gains and contributing to the gap between the globally connected and the locally disconnected. The magnitude of the disasters suffered by Japan remains with us, reminding us of the threat posed by disaster to all of our development efforts. Given that there is an increase in demand for public services immediately following natural disasters, achieving effective outcome in public administration has become 
ever more challenging. Nevertheless, technologies have come a long way in the last few years. And high-speed broadband infrastructure, including 4G and the wireless communication, hold the promise that e-government will soon become M-government. And open up a vast array of service delivery innovation that will truly part of the power of information in the hands of users. And yet, even this may not be enough. The current e-government discourse on the promise of ICTs need to be complemented by policies that address equity and the social justice objectives for a more inclusive development process so that people in remote and IT underserved areas can also acquire the skills and the capacities to benefit from the vast opportunities presented by the information and knowledge. As they say, technologies are only as good as the people who use it. Formulating, implementing, and assessing more successful strategies for ICT-enabled public service delivery will contribute to improvement in these areas and enhancing the overall quality of life for all. I'm confident that your discussion over the next three days will take these dimensions and challenges into consideration and will result in a better understanding of the regional, sub-regional, and country-specific e-government experiences. I wish you all success in your deliberation. This ends the message from Dr. Nolin Hazier, Executive Secretary of UN ESCAP. Thank you so much.